had your car booted, mm -hmm. and me I, too. I, me I too. can speak from experience, you know, it's infuriating. Oh, it, you're, you're mad. And now two best friends who call themselves the boot girls of Buckhead have a new side hustle. Well, they remove the boot with a magic key. But the question remains, is this legal? Atlanta News First reporter Amanda Rose is in Buckhead talking to the unique entrepreneurs. Violate parking signs in Metro Atlanta and you risk getting a metal boot on your tire and paying a hefty fine. Now two entrepreneurs in Buckhead say they have a solution. Pay them instead to remove the boot. I am on to see my husband. Meet the boot girls. They're wearing ski masks to remain anonymous. The best friend duo says they're saving Buckhead one metal boot at a time. We don't got no beef with the people that put boots on the cars, but but we're going to take it off. We're going to take it off. In Georgia, a private parking enforcement company can boot your car if the municipality has an ordinance to do it. They'll charge you to remove it. And if you don't pay in 24 hours, tow and impound your car. But the boot girls show up quick when you reach out to them. We talking big money, we talking big money. They charge $50 to remove a boot and it's all thanks to this. It's literally so ugly, but it's magical. They're not the only ones with a magic key. We spoke with entrepreneur Christian Verrett last year. He sells duplicates of the key online. Well, there's nothing unlawful about duplicating the key. Atlanta police tell us the key is legal, but whether it's illegal to remove the boot is a little murky. You certainly can't damage or steal the boot. The boot girls leave it on the curb when they're done. There are people with an APD who don't want to admit that this is legal. If your boot also came with a parking ticket, which often isn't the case, you're still responsible for that fine. But Georgia Senator Josh McLaren, who represents North Fulton, says booting companies are predatory. He wants to ban booting entirely. I think it's time for that. I think Georgians are ready for that. An entrepreneur here in Atlanta is cashing in on people fed up with parking lot boots. And who isn't? He started selling keys for people to unlock them without paying the steep fines the parking lot companies usually charge. But is it legal? Fox News Rob DiRienzo talked to the man and asked police. Well, it'll ruin just about anyone's day to walk out to your car and find one of those big yellow boots on your wheel so you can't drive off. The guy who started this whole thing decided enough is enough. So he found the key to getting free. Atlanta's tired of the boot. The people hate the boot. Christian Verrett says he got booted in Atlanta's parking lots one too many times. I figured out, hey, you, you can make a key and you can sell the key. You can duplicate the key. So that's what he did. He started selling master keys to the boots online, 50 bucks each. These four will cover 90, maybe 95 percent of the boots in Atlanta. There's maybe about six or seven companies that boot. There's a few really big companies that have the majority of the contracts. I have all of their keys. He says he's been doing it for the last few months, and so far he says he sold about 600. How did you get the, the prototype of the key? That's a trade secret, so can't, I can't tell you that, but it was hard work. Verrett tells me this is just a passion project on the side, and he's not in it for the money. Actually, he says his end goal is to be put out of business. I want the boot banned overall. You know, this is really just to raise awareness about getting the boot banned. A bill at the state capitol to do just that failed this legislative session. Now he's calling on Atlanta's mayor and city council to ban the boot in city limits. In the meantime, this is the people's only alternative. And Honestly, I don't care if the business fails. I'm, I'm here just to help the people out. And one of the biggest questions I had is, is this legal? I asked APD. They say, yes, it's completely okay to have one of these keys and bust yourself out of a private lot. They say the only two ways you can get in trouble are if you steal the boot or damage it. In Atlanta, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News. Good morning. Today is Thursday, May 4th, the year is 2023. So we have some entrepreneurs. Have you, have you ever been to Atlanta? Have you ever been to Atlanta? I don't know what other cities are like because I've been stuck in Atlanta for the past 30-something odd years. I've had my car booted on several occasions. And let me state this. I am probably the most... Uh, follow the rules, read the signs, make sure you're in the right parking spot, make sure you pay, do every, I do everything right. 
I, well, I did everything right. It still got a damn boot. And it's like, okay, we parked where we're supposed to park. We're at what they say we're supposed to be. And when you're dealing with these ignorant people who show up to remove those boots, all they want is money. They don't want to hear nothing about, no, well, you shouldn't. Have did. They, they're going to come up with all these reasons why they booted your vehicle. And, oh, well, you crossed the line. Or, oh, this is a handicapped parking spot. You're like, where's the handicapped parking spot? They point to some sign way over there. That's, this is handicapped. I'm like, okay, well, it sure wasn't identified. I have been booted on multiple occasions at businesses where I thought I was following all the rules. You left the lot. I didn't leave the lot. Well, we didn't see. It. It's just all kinds of bullshit. And so just to eliminate the crap and going by, I, mean, I just normally just pay the boot. But sometimes I would dispute to be later because I pay with my debit or credit card and I go back and dispute it. So, but what I, you know what I don't do anymore? I don't park on in, in private parking lots anymore in the, in the lab, especially at nighttime, because it's a scam. So if I'm out and about, I'll park on the city street if I have to walk a block. Because you park in these public, these private parking lots, you go pay, you do everything you're supposed to do, and you still get the damn boot. And you will be arguing with the people to you blue red in your face. Um, I guess I've been booted on many occasions. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like going out at nighttime. Because always at nighttime and somewhere in the middle of the night, you're trying to go home. These motherfuckers then booted your car. Um, you have to pay this exorbitant $75 on 100 so now I can't even remember. It's been, it's been a while since I've been booted. Like I said, I don't go to no place. That's, I, if I do go out at night, I park on a public street. Why well, I know I'll circle that block ten thousand times before I find me a free spot. Oh, there it is, right there. I take it. I'm, I'm not getting. You know, I'm not. You ain't gonna boot my ass. So, to see these young ladies out there removing them boots about these thieving motherfuckers, I fly their asses. Go get them damn boots. And they're not breaking the law. That's right, Ginger. They're not breaking the law. It's perfectly legal. It's perfectly legal. Yes, it's perfectly legal. Cause them motherfuckers ain't got no business booting me in the damn place. So the police can't do, ain't gonna do nothing about it. It is perfectly legal for them to remove them boots for that low, low fee. Now, if you want to save more money, go get your, like the other story point, now go get your own damn boot keys. So when you walk out and see that boot on there, just reach down there, unlock it, and go about your damn business. Long as you don't damage the boot and don't steal it, leave it right there on that fucking ground where it belongs on the fucking ground, not immobilizing your car. So... There will always be these dishonest this, this booting companies out there. I've walked out of events. I never forget when we went to the Fox Theater and we went to this event. There was guys sitting in the parking lot collecting money as you came in. They had flashlights and flags and said, come on in, they collected money. When we came out of that theater, everybody had boots on those cars. And they say you were supposed to pay the machine, not the person I'm standing there. And this man with the professional team, people they had orange cones out there, the whole nine yards. Everybody walked up me in total shock, but they didn't boot all that shit. And not only have they booted and ran, this is why I said this is all a scam. Now y'all, listen. How the fuck did all everybody in that damn parking lot pay a parking attendant, but we all ended up booting? Now, we didn't pay our parking to the $30,000, $50,000 for parking. And then we get booted. Now, we got to pay another $75,000 to get out of here. It was a scam. And it, people were raising hell out there. I was going to pay the boot and went on down. I said, okay, let me get this boot removed. Because it, it was like a riot going on out there. We, and I was like, okay, they're not gonna, this is a scam. Where the people who collected the money... The see Atlanta is full of scam artists, honey. Y'all just don't know those y'all are talking about. Oh no, don't do that, y'all. F them motherfuckers and take them boots off them cars. I will call them boot girls. Look, when I first saw them on Instagram, I saved all the information. I said, okay, I'm gonna need in case I need the answers. I'm gonna definitely be in contact with them, just in case I need the answers. I got all the information, a bit of it, <laughs> and saved it in my phone. Bravely, I won't be no place where they booting. I try not to park in those places after I've been scammed and stuff. Uh, also, another thing that I do, I try to find places that have valley parking. That because that kind of kind of cuts down on that booting bullshit. Because you've been pulled up, I just pay a little valet fee. 
It's cheaper than being booted. I'm I'm serious. It's just cheaper than me. I've been booted so many times here in Atlanta. It's like, okay, what the fuck is going on here? But I'm not the only one. This is a big scam, and this is how they steal people's money. There's no way in hell that night when we left that Fox Theater that they had these attendants flagging us into the parking lot. All them cars. And then we come out to the concert, and everybody got a damn boot. Everybody. I'm like, okay. And if you own a parking lot, and you've encountered this situation before where people have been, been paid a parking attendant, wouldn't you be more diligent in making sure that this didn't this scam didn't happen to the people parking in your parking lot again? No, because they were in on it. They were definitely in on it. So instead of them getting a 10 or 10, 10 or 20 dollar parking fee, they didn't collect it what hundreds now, thousands from everybody. They didn't made a killing. A lot of car artists here don't be fooled. Those of you who may not understand what those those two women are doing, I support them one thousand percent. Go remove those boots. It's not they're not breaking the law. It's not illegal. And I'm glad to see some people out there doing get finally getting justice. And that was keys to that man to sell. I'm sure they're gonna order me a couple of them. I paid a little fifty dollars for them keys and have my own set of keys. In case I encounter a boot someplace that I come out there and take it off. Anyway, it's a beautiful day today. It's still I have to turn the heat back on. It is forty Six, it's in the 40s outside. I'm not so sure why the weather is May. You would think it would be a little bit warmer, but it's not. So, I'm trying to figure out what is the, um, why the weather is so cool here. It's starting to get ridiculous. When does it warm up? I guess you better not complain because in, in a few weeks it's going to be 8,000 degrees outside in the turn on that air condition versus the heat. But um, it's been a really interesting day, I must say. Um, it was an interesting week. I had to have some contractors come over here, y'all, and there was just some minor issues here that I'm still fixing. It's like, okay, when did this shit ever end with this damn house? And some of this stuff has been going on literally for months. There were some things that one of the contractors, he's supposed to come, I come back and finish, I come back and finish, I finish, you come back in the morning. Well, I the morning to never arrived because that motherfucker never showed up. So I had to get somebody else in here to finish up and um, the stuff that was done. But a few weeks, about a month or two ago, I had a painter come in and paint. And now I'm looking at half the, all this half-painted shit he did. I said, damn, this half walls half-painted. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm still into half-painted. I'm like, well, how the hell did I miss all this shit? So, but anyway, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. It's terrible, but ain't nothing I can do about it. It just is what it is. It is what it is. And sometimes, I mean, it could be worse. If you had somebody on a shooting rampage yesterday, literally, y'all, the workers got here about mm, seven, eight o'clock. Two, so two days in a row, I had Home Depot over here finishing up a bunch of shit they have finished. And they finally came and finished all this shit. Um, and what were we in May? I think I was in May of last year, May, June of last year with Home Depot, and they just finished the shit up yesterday. Um, how does it require work and patience and, you know, when you're dealing with an older house, it just requires work. And so you have to, that's my sister, she, she's still, uh, she ran her. She had, my sister having problems with her damn house. She had a hot water heater with her. I gave her somebody to fix the hot water heater. I just asked her, did you get the hot water heater? She said, no, not yet. What y'all waiting for? She was running around boiling buckets of water. You just get your goddamn hot grown ass niggas in the damn house. It don't make no damn sense. I think I'll go ahead and get my damn hot water fixed. I gave her, told her what to do. You let her use my little Home Depot card. I should call them folks, get the hot water fixed fix over there because I have some hot water in that damn house. 
and he's out of headache. But I guess you have a choice. You either pay, pay high ass rent, high ass expensive ass rent, or suffer with these damn houses. Richard and Grayson. What are you chewing on, Grayson? Grayson, you dogs, bed today. But yeah, I had to get up and turn the heat on. Warm this sucker up. You know, I got this coffee. But because these workers were working in the house for the past two days, I couldn't get out of here for two days. Two days in a row. Because yesterday, they didn't, they didn't get out of here until late last night. They were determined they were going to finish this shit. It was just like, oh, I'm going to say, get out! But I needed to finish. I said, okay, they were fixing the doors. It was just a lot of stuff they were doing. It was sand and painting. But it's all done now. It's that second, I still got a few more things to do. Yeah, okay. Mind you, Earl Banks is nowhere to be around when this shit is going on. But he wanted this big ass raggedy house. I didn't. So lesson learned. You know, you think people would change as they get older and would participate in yeah, the house. That was nice. And he came out and out. Okay, but it's always raggedy. We still got some new construction. You know what I'm saying? But instead, we bought this thing, this 10,000 square foot white elephant. Y'all, it's like, okay, it's like you turn around, something going on. It's like, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding. It's like you turn around, it's like, okay, we got to take it. Now, I have, I got to change these air filters. I, I keep forgetting. I'm going to have to go through this house. I got five furnaces. I got to go through and pull these filters out and change them. The one upstairs, I can, I, it's a, I can pull it out today. I can actually, I bought one that can be rinsed out. So I'm going to go up there and pull that out and take it out here and rinse it out with the hot water hose. Hmm. Okay. What is this? My sister, yeah, she got a lot going on. My sister, she got some big issues. Well, and then I can do Johnny Grown. I can see it. That shit to do with me. I mean, anyway, it's, it's, uh, I was reading this text she just sent me why she didn't get that. She's still having problems over there. The ragged all these ragged houses. You, you, actually, you know, the thing of it is, if, if, if a lot of this stuff in these houses, you need to be able to do yourself. Now, the guys that came over here yesterday, they, were pretty reasonably in repairing and fixing the punch out stuff that needed to be done, so I can't complain. Is this some stuff that I could have did myself? Some of it, but some of it was a little bit more technical, and I didn't have the tools and equipment, um, particularly in that bathroom. With uh, there were some issues with that cedar siding in that bathroom that needed to be corrected. It was a bit over the toilet. They never closed off that wall. Well, I never, y'all never saw this, but it was a big um, section of. Siding missing and they lap siding cedar like that. We had I've had the siding in the garage, um, and so they were able to fix that pretty quickly. But while they were here, I had them also fix some, some painting, some doors that wouldn't close properly. Um, so they had to come and shave the doors down and repaint them and rehang them and all this other stuff. So they ended up pulling all the sort of and some of the interior doors off the hinges, sanding them outside, sanding and repainting them. They look much nicer. And they're solid wood doors, so they needed to be done right. And I kept trying to get some painters to come over here and do this. And so this guy, he came over and did everything. So I'm grateful he did show up and knock out that work. He was here for a while. And he didn't leave. He wasn't going to leave until it was finished. So that was a blessing. Thank you, Theo. I sure appreciate it. You know, get that done. But I got some other little minor things I want to finish inside of here. But yeah, but back to the boot girls. I applaud those young women. They saw an opportunity. They're not breaking the law. Um, I just want to be careful out there because you know they, some of these boot people are crazy. So you know, hopefully they won't they won't run into somebody 
who may try to um, stop them or um, interfere with they, the work, that the Lord's work that they're doing, as far as I'm concerned. So I can take them boots off and leave right there in their parking lot. And every time I've got booted, like that time we came out the Fox Theater, the boots were all over the vehicle, but nobody was, we was, was stuck out there for an hour. I mean, all this time waiting for them boopy, they probably crossed the street, drinking a cup of coffee, watching our answer. So, okay, we give them about 45 minutes to, to hang out there in that parking lot. Because when they got over there, the vast, the, 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 those who could afford it just said, just remove it. We didn't even want to argue about it. We just paid and got the hell on. We, go, we trying to go to dinner and all kinds of stuff. It was a fucking nightmare. I never forget that shit. Every time I go to the Fox Theater now, I park at the Georgian Terrace. <laughs> anyway. It is uh, Thursday, it's May 4th, the year is 2023. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff because I got I got some documents I got to print out and fill out and mail back off. I don't have a printer here at this house. So I couldn't do it yesterday, so I'm about to get dressed and go my ass up to the office depot now and get that done and go to the post office and then come back here and cook me some breakfast. So, I'm gonna get all my little stuff posted, printed out. And look at Grayson over here. I ain't seen Grayson. Give me Grayson. You just that excitement, Ginger. She just holding on to your ear. Look at her. She won't let go of his ear. Ginger, let go of his ear. What's wrong with her? Yes, it's a beautiful world in town. Yeah. Ginger has not been. She's been grouchy this morning. That damn sun is bright in Grayson. Here it is. Let's see if we can hide that sun. Here we go. Hey, Ginger. Everybody say good morning. Ooh, ow. No. Good morning. It's quiet around here. Yep, today is Thursday, May 4th. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful morning. I have some coffee. We finish doing this stuff. So I come into this post office, go to Office Depot, print out these documents, send that shit off in the mail, and have a beautiful day. Hopefully, I can get to the gym today. Anyway, good morning, you guys. Have a great day. I'm out of here. Enjoy the rest of this day. Thursday, May 4th, year 2023. I'm out and enjoy this beautiful Thursday morning.